Hello everyone and welcome you all to Quick Solutions for All India Cash Test Series Medical 2019. Today I am going to take up the zoology part of the paper which is test paper number 8 code A and B in zoology. So let's get started with our very first question. Question number 136. Cell junctions which help to stop substances from leaking across a tissue are known as and the options are adhering junctions, gap junctions, hemidesmosomes, tight junctions. And the correct answer to this question is option number four, tight junctions. These tight junctions, they prevent leaking of substances across a tissue. Let's discuss other options also. The next option is adhering junctions and this is an incorrect option because adhering junctions join neighboring cells together. The next option is gap junctions and this is an incorrect option because gap junctions facilitate cell to communicate with each other. And the next option is hemidesmosomes and this is an incorrect option because hemidesmosomes join epithelial cells to basement membrane. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 137. Select the correct set in options given below that represent contractile proteins of skeleton muscles. And the options are tropomycin and myosin, myosin and actin, troponin, and miramycin, tropomycin and troponin. And the correct answer to this question is option number two, myosin and actin is a correct set of contractile proteins of skeleton muscles. Because as you can see here, this troponin and tropomycin, these are the regulatory proteins and not contractile proteins. On the other hand, actin and myosin are the actual contractile proteins of skeleton muscles. So the very first option, tropomycin and myosin is an incorrect option because tropomycin is a regulatory protein. Third option, troponin and miromycin is also an incorrect option because troponin is a regulatory protein while miromycin is a part of myosin. Tropomycin and troponin is also an incorrect option because both these proteins are regulatory proteins. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 138. Select the correct statement and the very first statement is most abundant protein in biosphere is a biocatalyst and as it is a correct statement so this is a correct answer to our question because most abundant protein in biosphere is Rubisco which is a biocatalyst. The next statement is non-essential biomolecules are not required for the growth and development of body and as it is an incorrect statement so this cannot be a correct answer to our question because non-essential biomolecules are synthesized in our body and need not to be supplied in our diet but they are required for the growth and development of our body. The next statement is through ash analysis, we get to know that carbohydrates form 10 to 15 percent of total cellular mass. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because during ash analysis, proteins form 10 to 15 percent of total cellular mass, while carbohydrates they form nearly. 3% of total cellular mass. The next statement is nitrogenous bases of DNA are homocyclic compounds and as it is an incorrect statement this cannot be a correct answer to our question because nitrogenous bases of DNA are heterocyclic compounds. So the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 139. All of the following are common characteristic between Columba and Ornithorhynchus except and the options are oviparous organisms, exhibit pulmonary respiration, show internal fertilization, presence of pneumatic bones. Columba and Ornithorhynchus are commonly known as pigeon and duck-billed platypus respectively. Columba belongs to the class Aves whereas Ornithorhynchus belongs to the class Mammalia. The very first characteristic given is oviparous organisms and as these both are oviparous organisms so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. The next option is exhibit pulmonary respiration and as both of them have lungs as respiratory structures so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. 
they show internal fertilization both of them exhibit internal fertilization so this cannot be a correct answer and the last characteristic given is presence of pneumatic bones and and we know that the presence of pneumatic bones is a characteristic feature of aves only and not a feature of ornithorhynchus so this is a correct answer to our question because this is not exhibited by both of these organisms so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 let's discuss our next question question number 140 match the columns and select the correct option in column number 1 structures of cockroach are given and in column 2 their locations are given the very first option is mushroom glands now let's take a look at this male reproductive system of cockroach this is mushroom gland and this is present in 6 to 7th abdominal segment in males so the very first option mushroom glands goes with the fourth option 6 to 7th abdominal segment in column 2 so a goes with 4 the next option is testis and as you can see here this testis is a three lobed it's a three lobe structure which is present in fourth fifth and sixth segment so b in option 1 goes with 1 fourth to sixth abdominal segment with 1 in column number 2 the next structure is spermatheca and spermatheca is a structure which is present in female reproductive system spermatheca are located in the 6th abdominal segment of female cockroach so c in column 1 goes with 3 in column and the last option is anal cerci anal cerci is present in both male and female and it is present in 10th abdominal segment of both male and female cockroach so d in column 1 goes with 2 in column 2 so the correct answer to this question is option number 1 a with 4 b with 1 c with 3 and d with 2 so the correct answer is option number 1 let's proceed to the next question 